tutorial on Feed the Beast and this time I'm just going to quickly show you how to make redstone energy conduits because I know that when I started I have a massive trouble making these. So I'll just go through this exactly how to make them and what you need to do for it. So for the actual redstone energy conduits, the empty ones, you need to be using electron ingots along with fused quartz or alternatively you can use, um, now I forget what it's called. I suppose it's quite easy to look up the recipe. So you can use hardened glass as well. So I'm going to just quickly show you. So you need to use obsidian dust and lead ingots in, in like a combination of alloy smelters induction sm or induction smelters. So to make the hardened glass to start with, you've got your obsidian dust in one side and lead ingots in the other. So I'm just using the alloy smelters powered by my um, little bit of a system I've got going on here with my magmatic dynamos and my resonant energy cell which is storing all the energy for me and the alternative is to use just nether quartz which are a lot harder to come by I suppose unless you have a quarry in the nether or something along that lines but they ultimately they make a similar product so you get the hardened glass here and then you get um, when this one's done you'll get a fused quartz so once you've done with those you can put them in there with the electrum ingots and then for the electrum ingots you need to use um, gold dust or pulverized gold along with silver dust or pulverized silver. And for those, you just need to put silver or gold into a macerator or a pulverizer. And so once you've got those, all you've got to do is craft them together to make uh, your electrum blend, so like so. And then once you've got that, you can put that into a furnace um, of any description and it will, you end up coming out with electrum ingots. So now we've got these, um, you're done making them, so we'll just make up a, oh, we've got heaps of them now, lots. So once you've done with that, you now need a magma crucible. Um, these ones are a bit of a pain to work up, but once once they're there, they're there, so it's, you only need one. So you can, and you also need a fluid transposer. So the magma crucible is going to melt down redstone for us. So I'm just using redstone blocks because they they hold they're a you know condensed version of redstone, but you can just use redstone itself or anything else. So oh, where did that go? So oh, never mind. So there we go. I'll put like a stack in there, and I'll also put a stack in this one as well. So what I've got going on here is I might just take that away for a second. Is it's burning redstone and it's going to store it in its internal so to uh, stabilize redstone into an internal storage system up to uh, ten thousand. MB, I don't know what MB stands for, but I'm assuming that's 10 buckets. So I'm pretty sure you can actually get a bucket and get it out, but you don't need to. So all we need to do is make sure that we have our orange, the orange is output on one side, and then have a blue on our fluid transposer, um, which is input, and then you can connect them up with a fluid duct, and they'll automatically pump the internal uh, energy straight into the fluid transposer. Alternatively, you can, as we've got going on here, but I haven't set up yet. So if you haven't got them set up to our output and input properly, then you end up with nothing in the fluid transfer. But if I put this one to blue, which I'm pretty sure that one is the bottom one, if I put this one, the top one, to orange, then you should start to see it go straight from the magma crystal into the fluid transposer. So what you're going to need is the fluid transposer with plenty of redstone. So put your energy conduits, empty ones, into here, and what you'll get is it will come out, so I'll put, them in, I'll put them in here as well, because they both work exactly the same. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill them up with uh, redstone, so the destabilized redstone, and it will make for you the finished product of redstone energy conduits, which I can just pull out and put in there. So once you're done with those, you can use those to transport your power, um, your your RF or your MJ or any other necessary power transfer, pretty much, all the main ones. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and yeah, that's it. Enjoy.